Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. I always had a dream to make my own supercharged e-bike. I like building things. You start with an idea in your head and one day it becomes a reality. Check out my own custom e-bike called Riverside 1500E. Decathlon Riverside 500E, but it's not powerful enough for me. I always wanted to have something way more serious and powerful. An e-bike that will look like a regular bike, but in real, it will be able to ride pretty fast, up to 80 km per hour or 50 miles in US metrics. Another thing I absolutely wanted to have is a sort of a gas pedal that will deliver a full power of the 1500 watt motor to push me without even need to pedal assist from my side. I decided to keep pedals just to play somewhere in my legs and just in case I will run out of battery. I still will be able to go back home slowly but go back just in case. Plus, I don't want people to know that I'm riding such a powerful e-bike, I don't want to attract too much attention from people around. Well, I called my e-bike Riverside 1500E, because the base for this bike was just a regular Riverside bike from the Decathlon store, plus I added 1500 watt front motor and a huge capacity battery. By the way, I still don't know what distance I can ride on a single charge, because even after riding for 2 hours, I still have 100% battery left. The construction is very simple. I just replaced a front wheel with a motor wheel, I connected all the electronics, digital screen and controller, and voila! In the box, I found also a pedal assist sensor, but I decided to keep just a throttle option since I want to use it as a speed bike and I don't want to pedal on it. I just want to go fast. Replacing a front wheel with a motor did not left a place for a front disc brake, so I'm braking with just a rear brake. It's kinda not very safe. I will replace rear brake disc with a bigger one and I will add hydraulic system for more efficient braking. Safety before speed, you know. This e-bike has 5 speed modes. Obviously, the lower the number is, the slower it will ride. Number 5 is using full potential of the super powerful motor. I would say mod number 5 is too dangerous even for me. I will be using it only in safe conditions. This bike has cruise control, alarm, GPS and other various options that are not available on the standard e-bike you can buy from Decathlon or other budget e-bike brands. I did several speed tests and the maximum speed was 80 km per hour. It's 50 miles in US standard. Well, that's impressive. The overall cost of this project is around 1300 euros and I'm still working on it. I want to change the handles and to add some cool accessories, so subscribe to my channel if you want to see the evolution of this project. I will be using it mostly for long distances or on days when I'll be in a rush, so using a regular e-bike will not be fast enough, you know, business and meetings with different people, time is money. I could have buy just a regular motorcycle for this price, but I wanted to stay in a bike world because I still can use bike lanes and all the infrastructure for bicycles. It can be very useful in a city area. I live in Paris and traffic jam is something I want to avoid at all price. 
I don't like losing my time and this e-bike will help me to reach my destination way faster than a regular e-bike. Let's talk about safety. I will not be riding crazy fast in city conditions, I'm not stupid, but on the Sunday morning, when the road is free, I can accelerate a bit faster. Why not? The best safety accessory is your brain and not helmet. And by the way, wear a helmet, just in case. But what I mean by that is like, just think before doing something, and everything will be fine. You can also check my Riverside 500E videos on my channel, I have plenty of them, as it was my main transportation vehicle in 2021, and I did more than 10,000 kilometers or almost 6,250 miles, that's a lot, in one year for an e-bike, and it still rides just fine, just a little bit tired. But now I have a new toy, Riverside 1500E. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will try to answer you. If you like this video, 
please subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well thanks for watching have a nice day see you later on youtube bye bye